clear so I stop all these letters go back there to ask Ephesians, Colossians, you'll see first Thessalonians. That's right. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1 says, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord is so cometh as a thief in the night. But when they shall say peace and safety, then certain destruction cometh upon them and travail upon a woman with child. And they shall not escape. But ye, brother, are not in darkness. That they, that, that they should overtake you as a thief. Mm -hmm. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. Mm -hmm. We are not in the night nor in darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. But let us watch and be sober. All right. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. Mm -hmm. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. Right. But let us, who are on the day, be sober. Yeah. Put it on the breath. And by heaven, the hope of salvation. For God has not appointed us to wrath, but has but to attain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together. Yes. 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 That's beautiful. Verse 9 says, For God has not appointed us to wrath, but to Tain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. And just a minute, I want to talk about attaining that salvation. All right, all right. Attaining that salvation. And like I said, this is a letter that Paul had written to the church, the people in Thessalonica. And even before the end, you go back even before Acts the 16th chapter, it tells about. Why Paul was on this second missionary journey. Mm -hmm. Said Paul saw in a vision a man from Macedonia that asking him to come over there. Yep. And thinking that it was the vision of God, Paul gets ready to go on his missionary journey. And a missionary journey, you know, today we get communication to come to churches and to preach at this church and that church. It's totally different from the journey that Paul Amen. and the prophets are on back then. Amen. Because on a missionary journey, even Jesus himself being on his missionary journey, yeah. is that they don't just go to that place and preach. They go on their journey because they're stopping at different places uh -huh. and preaching Amen. the resurrection of Jesus Amen. Christ Amen. to those who have received, to Gentile countries, people who had not heard of Jesus Christ, but they still is governed by the law of Moses. Yeah. See, the day we go to uh, communication, even come to church, we don't stop to... to Preach to nobody. We don't stop to help nobody. We come, we leave home. Our goal is to get to church. All right. And that's it. Open All right. up the GPS and All right. church. Don't help nobody. Don't see if nobody needs around. And I'm not picking at nobody. I'm just right. telling you the difference between communication today and being on a missionary journey back then. Right. It was a mission to journey from one place to the next, but in, in between getting to Thessalonica and from leaving where he was at. He ministered several places. He first went to several different countries. One of them, he stopped at a place called Philippi. And I know a lot of people pronounce it a, little, a, little, a lot of different ways, but I almost said Philippi. Mm -hmm. And there, Paul near, went straight to the synagogue. They, they found the temple of the synagogue, and he yeah. preaches the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And, and, and Jesus himself said that even when we are doing his will, we're going to be persecuted. They're going to be persecution and opposition. Right. So everywhere they went, there was opposition. People that opposing them preaching Jesus Christ and people that were trying to persecute Paul. We understand that there was some who spoke yeah. not to eat or drink anything until they have killed Paul. Right. So Paul is on this journey. He stopped in this one place, Philippi. A while there, he had preached, they said, three days, and then his lady, we call him um, psychic today, but they call her Susan. She was walking behind him, talking about how they were the uh, children of the Most High God and all that stuff. And she, she got Paul, Paul nerves. And, and he was, Satan tend to do that, you know. He had get on our nerves. He sent buckles around and to mock us and, and, and persecute us and, and throw up everything. So he had this one lady, and he said, In the name of Jesus, Demon come out of her. Yeah. And the uh, reason I tell you that story, I want you to understand something about those three words. In the name of Jesus. All right. First of all, the devil hates those words. Mm -hmm. And he hated more when
when he had somebody had been doing his uh, do right. dues and changed their ways and started doing the will of God. So now you got somebody, the Paul was out there uh, killing the, uh, the Christians. He was locking them up and putting them in jail. The devil was happy with that. Right. He didn't get no opposition, yes. no persecution, yes. or nothing. But no sooner he was converted oh, and started God. doing the will of, yes. will of God, right. all of a sudden now he got mockers. You're he got right. brothers of Satan. He got people opposing him, trying to kill him all because he believed in Jesus and his resurrection. Oh, my. This was a learned man, a brilliant man, that been taught by one of the greatest scholars of his time. And on one occasion, he said, I know nothing to say Jesus Christ and his resurrection. And let me tell you something. That is powerful. To just give up who you are. Oh, my. The birth you were born into, you hear you was a, a Roman a, a citizen. You were taught by one of the well-known scholars of that time. Oh my, you was a Pharisee and all that. And you just throw it down mm. to be in the will of God. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. Mm. When it's for God I live, for God I die. All those sins right there make the devil mad. Right. And boy, oh boy, look like some Sundays when I said that. Look like uh, I walk into a brick wall the next day because everything's done. Right. And I'm like, I'm not changing my mind. I'm all not right, changing all my right. mind. And I'm all not right. turning around. All right. so Paul was a strong man. He didn't stop and he didn't turn around. Right. He left there and went somewhere else. He wound up in Thessalonians, Thessalonica. And there he taught the people. And there the people received him gladly. Yeah. And right. that's why we always say, you if you witness to somebody, God's going to give you somebody to witness to. Yes. And when you start witnessing to people, you'll be surprised how they receive it. Amen. If you start saying, oh, yeah, you know, I, I, you know, I, like, I don't work, so I ought to look pretty good. I don't have to get up early. I do, but I don't have to get up and go to work, so I should look nice. You know, I'm not tired now, but no. Right. Isn't that because I don't work? I don't believe it because God has, I have found grace in God. Amen. And God has if they yield, and that's why I can stand proud and tell my age because I don't feel like I'm 58 years old. So I have to tell myself, girl, you know, wait a minute now, wait a minute. I say, I just know that because I found favor in God, and God has seen something that He has can connect with me. He understands that my will is to do His will, my will is to obey His will, and that's why Paul can continue, even being in prison. Paul found favor with everyone he was around. Oh, my, even Man. before he left Phil, Phil, uh, Philip out, he was thrown in, being thrown in prison. He didn't grumble. He didn't fuss. He didn't say, well, God, you said if I do your will, you will do this and do that. I well, God, why well, I'm going through this? No. He went to jail and they said him and Saul were praising and praying to God. Mm -hmm. not, his That's example right. is something we can live by today. Right. Right. We don't have to grumble. We don't have to complain. Yeah. I hate that. When I, I, it didn't even come in my mind. I hate that. Why me? Why not me? All right. Why All right. not me? Amen. I don't have to die for my sins. My Amen. Jesus died for my sins. Oh, I'm like, in jail, ain't trying to find no lawyer, ain't trying to prove his case, just praising God. And who can I admit to say that when trouble arrives in their life, that they just they sing praises to God? You know, our praises need to, to cry and throw a pity party. But when we come to our senses, the people right. say, Lord, forgive me. Yes. I thank you for bringing me out. If oh, you brought me out, you're going to bring me out again. If you brought me to it, I can go through it. If not, then I learn how to be patient and wait till my change so, so he left there and now he's in, and they received him. But also there was some, some uh, Jews there who did not want it. You know, some kind of way they just got stuck in that law. Mm. And and I don't understand it. And I don't even understand today why people want to say, well, we live by the Ten Commandments. Mm. I can't, I, I hadn't kept all ten of them. <laughs> and uh, all, all through the 15 years, I broke on at least one or two right. until I got to the state where I truly accepted Jesus in my life and said, now Lord, I don't want to do this no more. Sure. I don't want to do anything that displeases to you. But up until then, I couldn't keep no Ten command, Commandments.